So for today's video, we are in a bit of a different setting than the usual studio. That is because we are here at the future Lian HQ, or at least it's being constructed right now. Anyways, the reason why we are at the construction site is because we are going to check out these shoes sent to me by Indestructible. Okay, so this video is not sponsored by the people that sent this to me. I'm just going to test it out and see if their claims is true. Just like what the box says. So we are going to check out if they are really indestructible and if they could withstand things that could happen at the construction site. So that's why we're here. Alright guys, so before we take the shoes through some rigorous tests, let us first look at the exterior design of the shoe because that's like half of the reason why you're buying a shoe is for it to look good. So looking at the exterior of the shoe, it looks like any contemporary sneaker design like those popular Adidas Ultra Boost designs. So I think that is where they got the inspiration for the design of this shoe. The exterior is made of this wonderful wire mesh fabric so that your feet don't become stinky after a whole day of work at the construction site. So I think that's a good design choice. And if you feel the edge of this shoe, there's like a very hard steel toe right there. And then we have the sole of the shoe, which they claim to be slip resistant on slippery terrain. So we are going to test that out if we have time today because as you guys could see it's almost dark and we are running out of light so i don't know why i chose this time to record anyways as i was saying the design of this shoe is pretty much contemporary and it doesn't look like safety shoes at all and that is a good thing because you guys don't know how many times i accidentally wore my safety shoes to the mall or something like that and people were like judging me because my shoes were all safety shoesy like or construction like it's like a big boot of some sort so that is a plus just in case you forgot to change into your casual shoes and you go to the mall with these shoes no problem let us test out how this shoe feels shall we also one of the reasons why i'm recording after dark is because i didn't want any construction noise but there you go noises can't be avoided and it's dead okay <laughs> nice problem solved okay we're going to test out the Shoes now, my dudes. On feet look, they look awesome. So the shoes feel comfortable. And Crystal is doing like that behind the camera. That means it looks good, man. Yeah. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to wreck these shoes by the end of this video. Okay, so let's do the run test. We're gonna try to climb up this pile of soil. <laughs> Made it. Oh no, my shoe is sinking. Climb test success, I guess. We, we climbed that loose pile of earth pretty easily. Now the true test of any construction shoe is did any soil get inside of that wire mesh fabric I was talking about a while ago. So, hmm. so for a quick run like that, there was no soil in my shoes. So it passed the soil resistance test. All right. Next test. Alright guys, it is completely dark out now, but still we are going to test the shoes if the steel toeiness of these shoes is up to par to the Lian standards. Anyways, what we are going to do is we are going to drop a bunch of things of various weights and see if the steel toe could protect my toes. Alright guys, before we drop something on this, safety first. So we are going to wear this reflective jacket just in case uh, some bats decide to attack me they get scared of the reflective jacket so there you go and then we are going to need the hard hat just in case this cinder block bounces off the shoe and hits me in the head which is highly unlikely but still you know safety first man okay let's let's do this my dudes okay so i'm going to drop this from my knee height and then if it survives i'm going to drop it from the waist height because anywhere higher than that I think your feet is going to be toast no matter what kind of steel toe your shoes have so let us drop it from knee height oh man that was some solid sound hmm seems like nothing happened let's compare to the other shoe still the same okay let's drop it from waist height Waist high <laughs> and nothing happened my dudes. Okay, we're going to drop it from nipple height. <laughs> Let's do that. Uh-oh. <laughs> 
Okay, dudes, there's some damage. You guys would see. That actually exploded <laughs> the front part of the shoe right there. So I think I missed and actually hit this part. So yeah, if a cinder block falls on you from nipple height, your toes won't survive just like I suspected. But still, the still toe is still pretty intact. So the edge of your toes would be fine. But anywhere above the edge of your toes, say goodbye to your feet. <laughs> so let's find some heavier stuff. Alright guys. I found this iron thing which I'm a little bit reluctant to drop on this slab right here. So we are just going to slightly drop it on our shoe. So this is the most likely scenario is that you tip over this thing and then it hits your foot. So we are going to try to recreate that scenario. I'm winded just by carrying this a few meters. Dang it. One, two, three. You know what guys, that actually made it through the test. I could still fit my toes inside the shoe, which is a success. So the next test we are going to do is we are going for the puncture test where we are going to find various objects to puncture the substrate of the sole of this shoe. To test if what they claim is true, that this is puncture resistant. I don't think it is because it's kind of soft, but you know, I could be wrong. Let's find some things to puncture it with, shall we? All right guys, I found a bunch of metal stuff right here. These are pretty common in the construction site and you can easily step on one of these especially when it's corroded and it's the same color as the ground and you won't be able to see this essentially it's a camouflage evil spike thing <laughs> so yeah we're going to press the sole of the shoe and see if this thing would go through all right guys here we have the pokey spike thing and we are just going to apply some normal human amount of pressure You know what, it's probably a bad idea putting my hand over it. <laughs> Whoa guys, nothing. I think I'm stepping on it wrong. I see what you're talking. Yes. Uh oh. Oh no guys, there's a little bit of piercing right there. So you guys can see only very minimal damage was done to the sole of this shoe. I found a taller spike right here. Let's test that out. Uh oh. I, <laughs> I felt the puncture. And it punctured, man. Oh no. Can't really feel it on the inside. But still, that punctured pretty deep inside the shoe. That's deep in there. Okay guys, so I found another common thing that you usually step on the construction site, which is this GI wire. So usually there's a GI wire that is folded like so, and then it is on the ground. So chances are you are going to step on this part, and this is going to go through your shoe and super ouchy. <laughs> Anyways, I'm running out of words, man. The dark is making me weird. Anyways, we are going to test if this could go through this. That's not a good sign. It went through the shoe easily. And you know what that means? Tetanus. So there you go guys, it failed all of our puncture tests. So I won't even bother with an actual nail because I'm pretty sure that is also gonna go through the sole of this. So I'm a little bit disappointed. I really wanted to wear this at the construction site because as Crystal said, I look hella good. But you know, safety comes first before beauty so I guess I won't be donning these shoes on the construction site anytime soon but I could wear this if the construction site was in its finishing stages but for roughing stages I wouldn't recommend buying these shoes so let us move on to the last and final test which is the slipperiness test which we are probably going to conduct tomorrow when there is sunlight because you know what they say play with water at night monsters come out you get some fright, that rhyme sucked. Let's, let's just go home, my dudes. <laughs> Eight hours later. All right, guys, so it is now the next day, and we are now here at the current Lian HQ, AKA 
my house anyways for today we are going to test out the slipperiness of the shoes and I didn't want to go to the construction site because there's construction going on and you know danger and noise so we're just going to test out the slipperiness of the shoes with various things I find here at our house Alright guys, so I placed this form on an incline of at least 45 degrees because anywhere is steeper than that and you shouldn't be stepping on stuff that is steeper than 45 degrees because 100% guaranteed you're going to slip and fall whether that surface is dry or not. We are first going to test if the shoes could grip onto this dry form surface. Pretty good. Okay guys, now onto the wet test. Okay guys, so that was the traction test on these forms, dry versus wet. There was just a little bit of slippage on this 45 degree angle. So yeah, next material we are going to test are some tiles. Okay guys, so I found this tile right here which is not that slippery. Okay, so for the 45 degree angle test, I experienced a little bit of slippage. Okay, now we are going to put some water on the tile and test how much the soles of these shoes could grip on wet slippery tiles. Forty-five degree test failed a little bit. We are slipping a lot. Now let's go to the thirty degree angle. Okay guys, 30 degree angle test was good, the shoes weren't slipping at all. Also keep in mind that there are no ramps that are steeper than 30 degrees. 45 degrees is the worst case scenario, 30 degree normal case scenario. So it passed our slippery traction test. Alright guys, so the last thing we are going to test is this plastic sack of sand right here which can commonly be found in construction sites worldwide. Alright guys, so let us just skip the dry test and move on to the wet test. Okay, so as you guys could see, the shoes couldn't hold on to the plastic sack at all. There was like zero traction there and I was slipping pretty fast. So yeah, it is not advisable to step on plastic sacks on the site in the first place. But I really hope that the shoes could grab onto the sack. But it failed this test. Alright guys, so that is my review of the indestructible shoes. And as you guys can see, these shoes aren't really that indestructible. But they look good though. Anyways, if you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below for more somewhat architectural videos like this from me your boy Lian. I will see you guys on my next video. Flying peace!